Hello, this is Storm Cloud 21. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. We are going to talk about the Stearachosaurus. Now, this is the Stearachosaurus from Beasts of the Mesozoic. Unfortunately, I don't have the packaging box nor the collector's card that goes with this figure, but it is an astounding figure, even by itself, without all of that. And today, I want to take a close-up look at it and share it with you. Look at that beautiful, amazing face of this creature. Jaw opens up. I like how they have taken the time to sculpt this piece right here. And then it's hidden when you close the mouth. Here you have the nostrils of this creature. Here is the amazing eye. Look at this horn jetting up right here. And then it has what appears to be wear on the horn. It's painted to look like it's, of course, been used. And as well as like these horns right here. It's very nice where this is darkened at the end. Makes it look more, more natural. This is one of the more vibrant figures of this collection of beasts of the Mesozoic Ceratopsians. And this color pattern on here, this is truly astounding. You've got the blues and you've got the white, you've got the yellows, you've got greens in there, and you've even got reds and orange. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I really like this color pattern right here where you've got like this reddish brown and then you've got like this yellow brown and then you've got goes into a really dark green and uh, you have these white striping areas on the back here. And just how they took the time to sculpt every little one of those scales on this creature. The osteoderms. Oh my gosh. This is like... The colors, man, I saw this, I'm like, this one is on my list. Now, I got this one used from a friend. At the time, this was the move I made, and this was the very first Ceratopsian I invested in. Not to say I couldn't buy another in the future so I could get a box and a card. And, you know, if I like this one enough to have more than one... I guess I could do that if I found it cheap enough to make it worthwhile. It's very worthwhile, this creature. Um, look at the way this is sculpted above the eyes, this brow ridge area. Man, some serious consideration has been taken in the sculpting of, of this creature. Look at all these little bumps and scales all over. Spared no expense, baby. Well, actually. <laughs> Kit backers spared the expense. <laughs> oh, man. So, you have some articulation with this figure. You have the jaw that opens here, like that, about that far. And you have this, this beak. And you take a look inside of there. So you can take your figure here and turn on this flashlight. Now, you can see inside there. And inside that beautiful mouth, you can make out those nice sculpted teeth in there. See that? And that nice tongue inside the mouth. I've gone all the way to add all that special detail in there. So then, turning this figure back around, you have some very nice head and neck articulation. This creature can have its head back like that. You can look forward about that far. You can turn his head way to look at the camera. Or you can turn his head way to look away from the camera. You can also twist this now and, and here. 
but I really didn't do that with the other figures that I showed you so far. I hadn't showed you, but they can rotate like this. So then you have this, can move like that, and you've got some bending at the joint right here. Sometimes you have to uh, get the joints ready. You have to be really careful because I definitely don't want to break this figure. You have to warm up the joints sometimes. It's kind of cold right now today. Then you can even bend it at the knee. See? Bend at the knee. Forward like that. Yeah. You've got this can leg can move like this as well as down here. You can see there is a, a joint down there. So you can swivel the foot. Move it forward a little bit. Get a little bit of rotation. The tail can go, which you have to be careful because you don't want a bunch of paint rub. And then you have this torso, which can move all around. Again, paint rub can be an issue. Here's an example of some paint rub on this used figure already. Right here before I had it. And it had some paint rub loss on the tip of the tail, but that's how I got it. Uh, figure is very amazing. There's a little bit of some paint rub going on right there, but it is a super, super figure. Also, look at the bottom of the foot. It says Creative Beast Studio 2020 Made in China. Look at, they even sculpted the scales on the bottom of the feet pads. Then of course they painted these nails on the feet. Look at how even it just goes into like a a bluish color and a, like a reddish pinkish and then the yellow nails down there it's like wow wow astounding truly astounding figure i really really like this i really wish i had a box and the uh, card for it but i do not now here is the dorsal part of the figure from the top and it even goes from like you've got yellow with the white stripes even going in yellow into an like an orange like a brownie orange kind of color with some yellow and more red and even touched off with some stripes ending near the end of the tail. Now this figure can be a little bit more pricey at times, sometimes, sometimes not so much. Um, the colors are just very vibrant. Um, it's not the only Steerachosaurus that we've seen in this scale. There is a Resaurus version. Look at that. Wow. Look at those black stripes coming down across the nose. Wow, the blue by the eye. Oh my gosh. And this, just this area is just mind blowing. That area and just the way this right here, all these colors is just, whoa. Also with a figure like this, you can move the legs in and out like that. So at least this one you can. So that is cool too. So yeah, that's been a look at the Stearachosaurus which I like to call Styracosaurus because of the Y in it, as you've heard before. It is a very excellent specimen of a dinosaur. The colors are vibrant and very perfect. I really like the stripes along the back as well. A very, very beautiful creature, bringing it back to life with all of these amazing color patterns and just the excellent sculpting just really knocks it out of the ballpark. An astounding, amazing, beautiful dinosaur. 
fierce and strong and defending its territory. Such a beautiful addition is this beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian. Love, 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 love all these stripes and beautiful colors that were chosen for this creature. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to see more cool stuff coming up soon. And so until then, until we meet again, talk soon.